Grid power just went out. To get backup power to your tank, do you have a plan? I purchased these Tesla modules on eBay for a deal so good, if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. I bought two for extra battery life if the grid goes down for an extended period of time. They both came very well packaged. So well, in fact, it was tough to find them in the packaging. When they are removed from the car, the battery coolant is removed and the inlets and outlets are capped. Well, supposed to be capped. One cap was missing and coolant found its way all over the inside of the battery. So it's time to clean them. There are 444 cells in each module. Before installing the batteries, we need to inspect the fuses to each battery to make sure there aren't any bad cells. Each one of these tiny pieces of metal are fuses, and each one needs to be intact, or the module needs to be sent back. If they look like this, that's a good sign. If they look broken or not connected, that's a bad sign. Next, we need to install a cell meter to check the individual cells. The OEM Tesla BMS needs to be removed. I am using a Tenergy 5-in-1 cell meter. This is the battery temperature connector. We will not need this. What we are looking for is this plug with 7 wires on it. Since I will be keeping the original plug connected, I will be splicing the original cables, and here is how I do it. I strip just a bit of shielding on the wire. Then I stick a thumbtack in the middle of the wire to create a small hole. Stick the wire through, twist it up, solder it, and then wrap the connection in electrical tape. My Tesla modules are Reversion B. If you have Reversion B, here is the color schematic. If you do not have this reversion, click the link in the description to find your color schematic below. After all of the wires have been connected, it's time to plug in our cell meter. We need to set the battery type to lithium ion. Now let's check each cell. The batteries in series are not too far off, so we know this module is good and the total volts on this module is 21.77. Since I have two modules, I will need to repeat this same process. The other module checks out, so I connect both modules in parallel to balance both batteries. This process will probably take a few days. Model S modules are comprised of 3400 milliamp cells arranged in a 74P 6S configuration. They are rated at 500 amps, 750 amps peak. They have an integrated liquid cooling heating system, but they can also be air cooled in light duty cycle applications. The pack contains 444 cells, and each cell is independently safety fused on both terminals. Lithium ion prices have dropped drastically lately, and now is a good time as any to consider battery backup as an option to power your reef when the power goes out. In the next episode, I will install two 24 volt 6S battery management systems to the modules.